So this here is a painting video for our Linearan Terminators. Uh, they're the Alpha Legion Special Terminators. You get them from Forge World. Uh, we're going to use them in our Chaos Army uh, because Terminators are quite good now with Armor of Contempt. And uh, we wanted to paint up a set, so we, we painted up a really nice set with all the iconic iconography and such that we had like. So if you want to know how we paint them this way, if you want to paint yours similar to this or any other Chaos Terminator or any other Alpha Legion Terminator in general, uh, stay tuned and we'll show you how we painted them up. Uh, if you like videos like this, please feel free to like, share, or subscribe. And otherwise than that, stay tuned and we will show you how we got uh, this, this look for our models. So this here's our painting video for our Linear and Terminators Alpha Legion. So we've got them built up and we put our first coat on. Our first coat was a primer coat using Citadel's spray lead belcher. And so we did the entire model. You'll see it's a, um, a partial build because we haven't added the head. We have sprayed those separately here. Because we're gonna do five units and um or five models so we'll attach them later but i wanted to be able to go into some detail for the head that i can't do once it's jammed in between all of these shoulder pads so once we finished with our first layer of lead belcher we are going to dry brush on a dry brush of rune fang steel just to light him up even brighter which will make the edges and all the details stand out when we come over with the uh with the bluish color so we'll do that now, uh, brighten them right up, and then we'll be back again in a few minutes to uh, see how it turned out. So this is our model now that we finished with the Rune Fang Steel, and as you can see, the model is brightened up quite a bit. Just to, con to compare, this is what the model looked like after the lead belcher, and you can see the new one is quite significantly brighter than the old one. And once again, just a simple dry brush right over the top with the Rune Fang Steel, just lightly over and over again with a small coat, fairly dry. And all we did was light up the edges and the highlights. So with that done, what we're gonna do now is start on our blue armor. So we're gonna take all of the parts here that are gonna end up blue. And what we're gonna do is add a contrast layer of a Kelly and Green to it. And we're just gonna come in very, very specifically with a detail brush that isn't this one. And we're gonna fill in all of the areas that are gonna go green. And meet back here in a few minutes once that's done. Uh, we may end up with two coats depending how dark it is. We don't want it fairly dark because we wanna see into all the grooves and add some shadow. But we'll do that now we'll be back in just a few minutes. So here's our model now that we finished with the Achillean green. And as you can see, we picked off a lot of the little detail here. You had your choice. You could either paint the whole thing with the Kelly and green and then come back and pick off the detail on the trim or do the trim and as an underlying color and then come off and pick off the panels with the, with the blue. Your call, either way, we did it this way. So as you can see here, we've done the whole model around the sides. We've also done the head. like so so we've got both of those finished so the first thing we're going to do here is probably work on the uh, tabards here in the cloths and we're going to make them sort of dark gray to blackish color and we'll probably get some of the internal machineries here as well um, just in sort of the midriff here so we'll do those now and uh, we'll do the back sides as well. And then we'll do the tassels on the shoulders. So when it's gonna come to do the gray color, I think what we're gonna do is a series here. We're gonna start with a base of Abaddon Black, and then we're gonna follow it with maybe the Eshin Gray, and then maybe a edge highlight of Dawnstone or something like that. And that'll give us a successively lighter series of colors, just like so. So we'll do those now. We'll do the cloths and then we'll do the shoulder tassels and we'll be back here in a few minutes once that's all finished. So here's our model now that we finished with the tabards and the cloaks. So we've done the increasing layers. So we've got a nice white highlight layer on the very top. 
and it gets darker and darker into the recesses, which was the plan. With the lighter colors, you want to use a whole lot less of it. So in most cases, we, um, we wipe it down on our fingers till there's almost nothing left. And then a very delicate dry brush just over the top gets us the little highlight color that we've got. So now that we've finished that, we're gonna move on to some other little details. So we're gonna do the little accents here and the little, the little um, icon here, the little Alpha Legion symbol, the, the snakes, the double X for 20th Legion. All of that stuff we're gonna do in gold. We'll put some gold trim along the, the, um, hand, the gun on the side here, as well as some designs on the ax. So we'll do all that with uh, three gold colors. We'll put a base of Retributor armor on. We'll probably shade it with some Seraphim Sepia. And then we'll brighten it up again with some Liberator Gold. And that should uh, add a little bit of color to our models here, make it stand out a little bit. Uh, there's no gold on the head, so we won't worry about that for now. And we'll pick at some of the other details around the model. So we'll do that now and be back in a few minutes once that's all done. See, so here's our model now that we finished with the gold trim. And as you can see, we did the dragon uh, pauldrons up here on the, on the top corners, as well as on the chest, the Alpha Legion logos here and here, and then the tassels at the end of the uh, shoulder, shoulder tassels, I guess, and then the axe, as well as the the iconography on the axes, and then some details on the blaster here as well. So all of those are finished, and they came out looking pretty good. We shaded them a little bit with the Seraphim Sepia, and then lit them back up with the Liberator Gold. So that's why you've got some details here in and amongst, and where it stands out quite a bit. So that finishes up our gold. Now we're gonna finish up the metallics, and these are pretty straightforward. We've got things like these little buttons that are inset over here, as well as the details on the on the blasters here, some of the details on the belt, as well as some of the engine parts and things like that. So we're gonna do with those, I'm just gonna put a little bit of Nulin oil on it, so to shade it and get some detail, and then we'll brighten it back up again, probably with some Rune Fang steel, but you could do Iron Breaker or several of the other brighter metallics. Um, I want it nice and nice and shiny and chromey, so I'll match it to what's there already, but add the detail with the shade. So we'll finish that off and then be back here in a few minutes. The next little bit we're gonna do is the eye sockets right here. And then of course on the other side as well. So we're gonna do those in maybe a red color. Um, so we'll do that with either a Mephiston red or if you're feeling very bright and bold, we'll do a Wild Rider Red. You could do Mephiston and then a dab of Wild Rider to make a two-tone, but any of these reddish colors would work. So we're gonna do all of the eye sockets now, and then probably reunite the heads with the bodies as well. So we'll do that and be back here in just a few moments. So this here's our finished model now that we've done with the uh, head and we've reattached it to the body. We've also based it. Um, so this is our, our final, uh, appearance and, uh, hopefully you liked the way it turned out. Hopefully yours turned out just as well as these ones did. And if that's the case, please, uh, let us know in the comments. Uh, if you like this kind of video, please like and share it, uh, or subscribe. That's always great. And otherwise than that, we'll put some photos at the end of the different models in the squad, uh, in their different appearances, just so you can see them for reference. And otherwise than that, we will see you at our next painting video. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.